Hello and welcome to the T. Gray Puff channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss my experience of looking for a model on Fiverr.com. If this interests you, then please keep watching. Okay, so we're going to go into Fiverr and we're going to check out and see what models that they have. Um, I was really having a hard time trying to get family members and friends to uh, be my models for my wigs and whatnot uh, because of scheduling um, problems and other issues. So I decided uh, to check out, well, Fiverr is one of the places and I decided to check out Craigslist. Um, right here, I'm going to talk, talk about Fiverr. And I'm going to be showing you uh, my experience and things that I thought of when I decided to uh, make my purchase on the, the Fiverr app. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the models that I had saved because I thought they may be good candidates. And I had to whittle it down to people that were in the America so I wouldn't have to pay for shipping because I heard it was very expensive. So um, I picked three women out of this um, lineup. So uh, let's dig, get into it. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the three gigs that I decided to purchase. As you can see here, uh, we're going to go through all three and see my experience um, with them. Okay, so the first person um, I, I um, decided to hit up and see what she was willing to do was uh, Kiara Raquel. And so um, the options that she had for uh, the the gig, I guess they would call it, um, wasn't really working for me. So um, I decided to ask her if she could do uh, something else because, um, as you can see here, I'm like she's offering 12 images in 30 seconds, and I really needed like a front side and a profile of like um, what the wig looks like and whatnot because it wasn't really uh, relevant to what it was that I needed to have done so she agreed to that um, and we uh, made um, arrangements for her to do that she mentioned something about a lifestyle photo I have never heard of a lifestyle photo but um, I mean if she wanted to do that I was like okay but I just really need the front back and sides I don't know if you can see that and we decided on the price um, she was willing to do that so um I made my purchase as you can see here and um, it's a time uh, stamp of like uh, what we discussed thereafter and um, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken she uh, she I asked her what it was that she wanted I could see here and what color she wanted because I wanted them how to feel comfortable in wearing and be very confident in it so um, that's why I asked her which kind of wig she wanted or whatever. And so, um, as you can see here, we just uh, worked it out from there. And I thought it was a pretty good experience because, um, actually, she was open to uh, negotiation. Yeah, because I think um, when you look at people's gigs and you don't really know if um, that will fit what it is that you're looking for. Sometimes you have to hit them up first and ask them about it. And some people are like, nah, I'm not changing nothing, you know, stuff like that. But um, I did have to because um, I need to be able to show people like, you know, what it was that I'm offering in, in great detail because people are, I'm asking people to make a purchase online, which is um, a pretty hard decision, especially with the economy being what it is now. And, um, you know, wigs are pretty expensive. It's a huge investment. I mean, it does last a long time. You don't have to worry about driving to a salon and having to wait in line uh, for your hair to be serviced and the time it takes for your hair to be serviced and, and paying and all that stuff and having to drive back home. So this is a pretty good option. So, yeah, uh, I was pretty happy with um, Kiara here. And um, I would definitely recommend her. If you were looking for a model for your company. 
Okay, so right here I'm just showing you um, what it was that she um, did for me. As you can see, this is an unboxing, which is what I asked up about. Because I wanted to show the items that you would probably get um, in the, the box. And, um, yeah, I just, you know, put the regular stuff. I have my label, and this is the wig that happened to have straps and everything. So she's showing uh, all of this that she got into the box. That's the color that she chose, which is a... Um, uh, ash blonde ombre ish with a money piece okay so right here she's doing um she's actually putting the wig on and um i think that was another thing that i asked about and she was willing to do so she did that for me and i'm telling you she did a really great job she's easy to talk to and um i would definitely use her services again if i needed another model Okay, so right here, I think this is the lifestyle uh, photo video. So um, I was pretty happy to get this because, you know, it gets to give you a, a chance to step back and see what the wig looks like on an actual person. Final thoughts on the wig. It, it is very beginner friendly. I love a good wig. And only thing I really had to do was add a little bit of makeup to give it more of a natural look. I could probably go in and cut some more of this lace, but right now it's gonna work. We decided to go with a ash blonde and it's warming up. It's about to be spring. I love a good blonde. So yes, you just heard her actual words, her review as far as like um, her opinions on the wig. That's another thing I asked for. And um, she accomplished the task very well. And um, I was very satisfied with my purchase. And um, so I decided to try another model. But before I do that, I want to give her a shout out. Okay, so on Instagram, she has a, a company called Cache Collection. And she has lots of beautiful um, earrings. I'm not sure if they're handmade or not. And so if you ever were in the market for unique pieces for earrings and whatnot, uh, give her a check out on Instagram. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you her second company called Satin Escape. And it's like a wardrobe boutique. Um, so uh, she's just showing you what clothes she's wearing and stuff like that. And pairing things together with her earrings and whatnot. So um, just give her a check out if you ever in Instagram. Okay, so for my second model, um, I, I hit up a lady called Miracle chr and she had some videos but um the videos weren't very very good quality but i decided to hit her up because i wanted some variety in uh, the model um category so as you can see here uh, just asking if she's in the u.s and stuff like that because i wanted to know if i have to pay for shipping and i didn't want to have to ship a wig way out of the country and whatnot so um um our conversation really didn't go very far uh, i think i asked her one too many questions so um i think it like stopped at a certain point and i never got an answer so i guess she wasn't interested so um this one did not work out for me so um, i just had to move on to the next uh model Okay, so on to my next uh, model uh, called Blossom Passion. And like I said, I had to hit her up and ask her if she's in the U.S. It turns out she wasn't in the U.S. And um, what uh, she had an address where you could actually send the stuff to that address. So you wouldn't have to worry about custom charges and, and shipping and stuff like that. Except, you know, to ship it to the U.S. address. And then from there, they would ship it to her in... Um, I guess the Virgin Islands, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but as you can see here, I chose the $50 option. Um, Kiara was like 70, but uh, Blossom Passion was like 50. So she was willing to do, like as you can see here, the five photos and two videos, you know, basically like a review and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it took a while before it actually reached her. 
And I was asking her, you know, what color she wanted. She was saying brown, which I think I kind of fumbled the bag on that because I gave her like a all over brown instead of like a brown root uh, look. That's what I think she was looking after because I noticed that she liked one of my pictures on, um, I forget where, but I'm going to try to insert a picture of the actual wig that I saw her like on my Instagram, I think it was. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to show you what wig I'm talking about. Okay, so I found the, the thumbnail. So this is the, the video here I was talking about. And I didn't put the two pieces together when she was uh, saying that she wanted it brown. Um, and that particular wig was from an awful Amazon company. It was just terrible. But um, I believe that was the one she wanted, but she didn't specify. So honestly, I had no clue. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, so uh, this is the... You know, just us talking back and forth about like um, me shipping the wig and how long it's going to take before it's going to reach her and stuff like that. And yeah, so right here she was saying that she didn't get the package. Well, I don't think we got to that part, but yeah, she said she didn't get the package, but then she ended up saying that she did get the package. It was later or something like that. I don't know. It was a mess. But anyway, so she's asking me how to pronounce my name, um, which is Tigray, not Tiger Pup. So, uh, yeah, she's just letting me know um, how long it's going to take before she can post it. Eventually, she came back and showed me that she got the, get getting the video together and whatnot. So, um, I mean, I really enjoyed uh, talking with her because, honestly, like once I had post, well, once she started posting it, she had a lot of people that were... Um, liking the wig and stuff like that and um they actually hit me up and was asking me you know if um they would like if I would like them to model for me and stuff like that so she gave me a lot more options it was just um very uh great experience um yeah so I was pretty satisfied with um her gig as well so if you wanted to check her out then please do that Okay, so she has sent me like, um, you know, a couple of pictures and like um, a video. She tried to send me an eight minute video, but for some reason it wouldn't go through. And so um, I told her just chop it up, you know. So then I just took the video and I had um, cut, um, cut it into segments because on Instagram and stuff like that, it has to be one minute in length and stuff like that. So and then I wanted to include my logo in the back um, of the video. So I had to do, um, had to get that together. I just wish it would have been like chopped up like, um, Kiara had did, but, um, she still did a great job anyway. So right here, I was just showing you the pictures up next. You're going to see her review or hear her review. And so just check that out. Be back in a second. I got something in myself. Scum. And all I did was put on a wig cap. Want something particular like you want them to curl the hair before they send it out to you they also do that so you can check them out as I say check their Instagram and they also post on YouTube Okay, so you heard the review now she's doing an unboxing and then it's going to be an application so uh, she's showing you what comes in the, the box stuff like that with a headband and the eyelashes and stuff like that and then up next you're gonna see um, I had to break it up of uh, the application so uh, yeah you're gonna see an application then a finished result I think that's what I asked of everybody because uh, people need to see, you know, what it is they're getting and, uh, you know, how you uh, apply the wig to your head and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so uh, I was pretty satisfied. She did a really great job. Um, in a few, I'm going to show you uh, her contact information if you wanted to uh, use her for model for your eye uh, products and stuff like that. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, Blossom Passion on Fiverr. 
Her username on Instagram is Local Princessa. On YouTube is Local Princessa. So I'm uh, just going to show you a brief snapshot of this is the YouTube channel of hers. And this is the Instagram. So if you wanted to contact her for uh, marketing purposes, then uh, now you know how to do that. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to discuss with you my opinion about my use on Fiverr. Um, I think they should have an option where you can weed out the people that are not in the U.S. and stuff like that. And um, different prices because uh, that's what I had to do a lot of digging in order to figure out who it was that I wanted to use and whatnot. Even though, yeah, it's in their bio, but you have to go and read each individual bio to figure out the person's location and stuff like that so yeah uh that's one thing i didn't like about uh the fiverr thing but however my experience was pretty great i got an opportunity to um maybe market my business to other people because now they actually have models to showcase what it is that i'm offering so i was pretty glad about that and um Especially with uh, Blossom Passion, a lot of people liked a lot of my videos, especially on TikTok, and um, got a lot of views and a lot of likes. So I was very pleased with um, with the both of them, honestly, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the second uh, person, uh, Miracle CHR. I mean, I guess sometimes, you know, it just doesn't work out with everyone, and you just have to take it as it comes you know so um at least i got a chance to um opportunity to experience this and i'm pretty glad that i actually did this and um i just want to thank fiverr I want to thank fiverr and of course local princessa and kiara raquel thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.